Hey guys. <clears throat> well, today I want to let you meet Miss Bossy. She was at the top of the pecking order uh, up until uh, last week, and uh, we noticed something was going on with her. What she had was uh, called egg yolk peritonitis. Some of the old timers call it sleepy chicken. Uh, the symptoms were uh, she was stumbly, kind of wobbly. Uh, they said one of the symptoms is a uh, dirty vent, but uh, her backside wasn't dirty. Uh, but she just sort of stood around. Um, would go to uh, feed them their scratch and you know all of them just come running and hopping and running and hopping and she'd just stand there over on the other side of the yard just, uh, just sort of lethargic kind of uh, so you know first day we noticed that we thought well you know maybe maybe nothing to it you know uh, maybe got into something or, or or something and it'll pass uh, then the other symptoms showed up uh, like I say, the, the lethargic thing showed up first. Uh, another symptom is that they begin to appear to get larger. Now, this is just gases, basically. Uh, they start swelling, and uh, and it was at that point, you know, we realized that was about the, I don't know, that was about, you know, it was the middle of the second day that she was acting strange. Noticed that she was getting noticeably larger, but. Uh, Anyway, what uh, egg yolk peritonitis is is uh, when the uh, when the egg is ready to drop down to the oviduct, the uh, oviduct either hasn't made it up far enough to catch the egg, or it's retracting and it basically misses the egg. Now I'm wondering if this might not be where I got that uh, tiny egg from. Uh, there a week or so ago uh, because uh, because what happens is when the uh, you know when it misses the yolk the egg yolk goes inside of her and of course that can everybody knows egg yolks can be uh, can harbor bacteria like crazy and and feed it and that's what happens sometimes the egg yolk can be absorbed and you'll never even notice the chicken getting sick but when bacteria starts in it, uh, you got problems. Uh, chicken's probably going to pass. But uh, anyway, what we did to treat it was we used duramycin 10. It's a soluble powder. That's it right there. Got it at Tractor Supply. And uh, it, uh, the directions to mix it are on the back. But what I did is I cut it down to... Uh, gallon a gallon mixture and I put about uh, not quite a half an ounce about uh, anyway not quite a half an ounce into a gallon of water and just put that in her water dish and that's uh, what she's had for about five days and uh, she's actually two days off of it um, and seems to be doing fine uh, she's uh, been doing water we're keeping her separate <coughs> until it's out of her system, until the antibiotics are out of her system for four days. And uh, that's just in case she does lay an egg. We don't want to give any of our customers uh, an egg with antibiotics in it. <coughs> uh, I don't think she'll ever lay again, to be honest with you. That's uh, one of the things that they say comes with this. Uh, and like I say, in a real homestead environment, the smart thing to do would be to uh, put her in the freezer, but uh, we're not that poor yet, uh, you know. So we're not uh, we're not going to go that route. Uh, I did some more research as well <coughs> uh, on it. Uh, talked to an old timer, old timer uh, around here. Talked to Tractor Supply, and they gave me the name of a fellow, and he told me that uh, that this stuff will run right through your whole flock, and that's not the case. Uh, it's uh, it's not something that's contagious. 
a lot of people think it is because production layers like these uh, red pullets will, will uh, they, they try to lay so fast you know get an egg a day out of each one of them uh, that they're more likely to have this problem uh, and uh, anyway but his uh, his suggestion was a needle to the chest uh, Thailand 50 I'm not sure how you spell it but a half a cc injected in a tiny little needle tiny little short needle uh, about a uh, quarter of an inch a quarter to a half an inch away from the middle of the breastbone right into the breast meat and uh, and that uh, that was his suggestion uh, I've since found out that injections are uh, liable to cause a uh, chicken to have a little chicken heart attack and die right there on the spot so glad I didn't follow his advice and like I say his uh, idea of injecting all of my chickens to uh, make sure they all didn't come down with it was uh, turns out that was wrong too uh, now another good resource for information is a Facebook page called backyard chickens uh, a lot of new chicken owners on there uh, but a lot of seasoned uh, vets that know stuff uh, know stuff about it and and they're uh, they won't pick on you <laughs> if you don't know you know if you're new to it they're uh, they're real cool uh, our buddy Scott a fellow youtuber uh, named uh, redneck responder it's actually uh, he created that Facebook page I'll put links to to both of them down in the uh, description box below but uh, off the Facebook page I found out about some stuff called uh, Caldex CPM CPMK injection but it can be given orally uh, I think the I think on the page it said three milligrams a day and I'm thinking that's something that you can also get at tractor supply but, uh, but like I said this uh, uh, duramycin 10 soluble, soluble powder uh, worked good for me and her obviously yes miss bossy she's uh She's getting around good now. Uh, I got to get her back in there so she can straighten these other girls out. They're trying to reestablish a new pecking order, and uh, it's been chaos in the in the it's been chaos in the chicken run for a week now. But I don't think I've got a feather on any of my birds. They're all bald. Uh, but uh, but anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, the Duramycin 10 worked uh, worked pretty good for her. Like I said, I don't expect to get any more eggs out of her, uh, and uh, and all. But uh, but if you love your chickens like a pet, uh, you want to keep your eyes open for that. Uh, I've been uh, blessed this time because because uh, our bird, our little buddy, made it. Uh, you know, keep learning things. Keep learning things the hard way. Uh, uh, you know, our very first chicken, uh, to lay, uh, had, uh, had prolapse vent, and, uh, that was a hard one there, uh, you know, because they're our very first chickens, you know, we had them, and, uh, they, uh, comes time from delay, and the very first one don't make it, because, uh, because of, uh, well, prolapse vent, I won't get into it, uh, that's something else you can you can learn about on your own uh, do some research if you're gonna get into chickens that's something to watch for but uh, this egg yolk peritonitis I would uh, if you're gonna have chickens I'd look it up uh, on the web there are some videos on YouTube about it uh, they're pretty graphic they uh, there there's uh, several on here that uh, that they uh, dissect the chicken and show you the yolk inside the poor bird and uh, and explain to you what happened yes ma'am bossy but anyway guys just thought I'd share that little experience with you uh, like I say looks like she's uh, doing well two more days on the uh, fresh water and uh, in the chicken tractor quarantined and uh, she'll be going back in with the rest of the girls as long as we don't show any sign of relapse so y'all take care see ya